Hey you magical people, welcome to Salt and Sugar Saga. Our today's recipe, mm-mm, not recipe, our today's recipes are easy peasy and sesame and garlicky. Yes, we are preparing two recipes today. One is our main dish. So our main dish will be garlic spaghetti. And for that, first we need to cook the spaghetti as per the instruction on the box. So check the instructions and cook accordingly. And while the main dish is pre- cooking, we will prepare our side dish that will be our second dish and that is tahini cauliflower and for this recipe we need cauliflower floret try to take the florets almost of same size that will help in uniform cooking so here I have all my florets I'll keep aside the smaller ones okay so now in a clean bowl I'll add tahini sauce tahini sauce is made of crushed sesame seeds it is basically uh, widely used I must say in Mediterranean food and uh, you must have heard in uh, like while preparing hummus also in most of the Middle Eastern food it is used so we're gonna add some olive oil Although you can use any flavorless oil in this recipe, but I prefer olive oil. So we'll give it a good whisk so that it'll, it is smooth and lump free. So now it's time to season it. So first we'll add turmeric. Turmeric will give a very nice color. Followed by salt, paprika, garlic powder red chili powder now we'll whisk all the flavors well and now we will add some crushed garlic I love garlic flavor a lot and try to incorporate that garlic flavor as much as I can in almost all of my recipes so here we have our crushed garlic which I'm gonna add in my tahini sauce give it a good mix and now we'll add our cauliflower floret and coat our cauliflower floret with the sauce okay my hands will work better I guess So here my cauliflower florets are all ready to get baked. So I'm going to place them on a baking tray and bake them for around 12 to 15 minutes at 425 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't want to leave even a single white space of cauliflower floret. Okay, here we go get set bake so meanwhile the baking is going on let's check on our spaghetti and it's done beautifully we can't see any white center so I have strained the water and keep it aside so while the spaghetti is aside we'll prepare a garlic flavor oil which we call as infused oil so I'm gonna slice my garlic very thinly at least as thin as I can and I'm gonna fry them until they are nice golden brown and crisp this kind of tempering is also used in uh, Mediterranean soups also Um, mostly I have seen on red lentil soup or any lentil soup because it's give a very nice flavor as well as crisp of that garlic so here my garlic infused oil is ready and I'm gonna keep it aside now in the same pan I'm gonna add uh, olive oil and some butter and I'm gonna roll my spaghetti in that it's time to season our spaghetti with some salt and here I'm adding around 1 fourth cup of spaghetti stock which is nothing just the water I have saved uh, from the boiled spaghetti oh 
I'm gonna season it with some sauces. I have used some red chili sauce, some green chili sauce, and soy sauce. So I'm gonna roll all the flavors well in the spaghetti, and the spaghetti is ready. Isn't it looking mouth watering? So spaghetti is all set. Now let's check on our cauliflower. Let's take a sneak peek whether it's done thoroughly or not. Hmm, nicely done. Now let's do the plating. So guys, you can see a logo of Salt and Sugar Saga on your screens. If you haven't yet, please do click on that logo. Do subscribe my channel, hit the bell icon so that you won't miss even a single video of mine. Until next time, enjoy your garlic spaghetti with tahini cauliflowers. Take care. Bye-bye.